Hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. I'm gonna hit my face on the side of the, s the painting and go inside for the 100 coin star of Shifting Sandland. It's very helpful to know in this one that there are 74 coins outside and 62 coins inside so you know when you will be able to go inside the pyramid to be able to get the rest of the coins for the 100 coin star. Um, that also gives you a good choice in that you can choose not to do the riskiest uh, coins in this. Oh, crappers! <laughs> you can choose to do, not to not do the riskiest coins in this level because yeah, there's a lot of bottomless sand in here. And did that coin just come back on solid land? Huh. And, uh, and then go inside the pyramid where it's much much safer. Like, I'm probably gonna get 50 to 60 coins out here, like 50 to 60 of the safest coins, and then just go inside the pyramid for the remainders. Oh, I must have killed that already. Oh, okay, do Wait, where's... Wasn't there a Poke... Oh, it just kind of despawned. Oh, there we go. Blue coin from the Poke. Um, careful when you do these Goombas, because if you, like, charge at them, like if you were to do, um, like, run at them and then do a that move, what can happen is that the um, coin can actually fly to the upper area, both over here and inside the pyramid, so you probably want to kill the Goombas like that, just to be very safe about it. And with this box, you probably want to- OH SHOOT! That was not supposed to go like that! Oh no! And that contains a good amount of coins too. Uh oh! <laughs> well, Hopefully that won't be necessary for this. Oops, I guess I was supposed to throw it at one of these pillars. I thought these were going to be uh, uh, solid enough for me to throw that box to, but I guess not. <laughs> oh well, my bad. Ah, poopers. Let me up to the top. Dang it. Arr. Actually, is there anything important up there? I'm not actually sure about that. Maybe I'll just... Pokey? I'll kill you, get your coin, like so, don't go in the sand of doom, and also go for the to for the tornadoes because they can also mess up your, your coin collecting. Come on, I just want the wing cap, there, because <laughs> it's much easier to navigate this place with the wing cap, That's this is the shell, right? Yeah, the shell's kind of useless to me in this uh, 100 coin star. Kind of. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I gotta go through these again. Well, sort of. I think I'm gonna, just gonna ignore that fly guy. As I said, I'm gonna pick and choose the safest coins to get, basically. Like, this one doesn't seem that bad to get... Uh, oh, oh, I got it. I'm kind of surprised I got it, in all honesty. <laughs> let's, let's, let's go around and get the red coins along this line. And my perspective is off. Ah! <laughs> just was worried about that. Four. I'm just doing a loop around the level here with the uh, wing cap, by the way, if you can't tell. Yeah. Now I'm going to go replenish the cap. Oh, 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 my box is back! How did I not notice that before? Or maybe it wasn't there before, I don't know. My box is back! Alright, let's try and do this properly this time. On the pillar... Yeah, that works. Oh, one coin went to the upper level. It should fly down here based on its speed. Yep. Ah. Why is it so hard to get on top of these ruins? <laughs> So much safer to get up there. Wait, the shell didn't respawn, but the box did. It's kind of weird. <laughs> I mean, it's the shell is still there. That, that shell is quite literally invincible in every single way. Oh shoot, that's too low. In every single way you could possibly imagine. Wait, I should probably actually go um, like oh, whoa. hold me up like on top of the pillar. There we go. Just want to do. Oh shoot. Fly guy, stop that. Don't shoot at me. Nope, I want to coiny. Yeah! Ow. I wonder if I really should go for this one. This is this is kind of... Well, it's fine, I guess. Six. 
gonna go starting these along the crown here. Oh, I forgot the the, co the red coin in the oasis. That's right. Mm. Well, I'll be back there anyway because I gotta go go there for the pyramid. That's seven. This should be safe to go around, even with the tox boxes there. And I think I'll just wait to be safe. Hey, come on. Out of my way. There you go. Good boy. Oh, camera. That camera. Is, I think the camera in this game is your worst enemy, in all honesty. <laughs> so, anyway. Ah, that, that, nope. Well, at least I had the wing cap on. When you have the wing cap on, it doesn't seem to steal any of your other stuff. Just give me a blue coin, yes. Will I be able to collect it? Yes. 49. No, oh, crazy box. Oh, oh, there's another pokey. I'm just trying to concentrate a lot here, so sorry if I'm not coming up with any very inspired commentary here. Because uh, this this star is rather dangerous to get, in all honesty. In that oh there you go. I, I thought I was gonna get stuck up there. Uh, in that, you have to be very, very careful not to fall in the sand while outside. While you're inside, it's it's a lot less dangerous. But while you're while you're outside, you have a lot to worry about between the tornadoes, the fly guys, all that sort of stuff. Okay, now that I got 60, uh, 64 coins, I'm gonna go inside the pyramid now and get the rest of them in there, just because. No. No, I heard that tornado going, so... Okay, is, wait, is there coins in here? I think this is the, the one-up. Yeah, there's the one-up. I'm not gonna bother getting the coins on the side of the pyramid, because you know how risky those things are if you've played this game before. Okay, over here, always remember this. There's a blue coin switch, hit this, and immediately go towards the quicksand, because... Oh, oh three blue coins are right there. You do not want to miss those. There, they make this a whole lot easier. Alright, now for the Goombas. So I'm gonna do these one floor at a time here, so I'm gonna start at the left side. Because the it's easier bah, it's easier to get up from the right side, like to other layers from the right side. Even unless you're cheap trying to cheese it like I did in that first time I was here. Um wait, what does this say? Like what? Booby? Eh, oh, that's a hint note, okay. Uh, that's a one-up. I do not care about the one-ups at this point. Oh, and apologies for not making uh, Mario 64 part for a little while. I got a bunch of new games for my birthday, and I was I was kind of more into them than I was... Uh, like, I didn't really have much motivation to make parts so much as I did wanting to play some new games. And it, it's not so much laziness as it was me not having the right mindset, so to speak. Like, if I were to have made parts when I didn't... Are you dancing? <laughs> like, if I were to have made parts and I didn't want, like, I didn't feel like making parts because I wanted to play the new games, it would, it would just have the totally wrong mindset and it would kind of show in the videos, and I'd really rather not have that, so that's why I decided to uh, hold off on making the parts until I burn myself out, so to speak, of the uh, new game overload, so to speak. Alright, did I say so to speak a bunch of times there? I think so. Does this have coins? Another one up, really? <laughs> That's... wow. Okay. I know that sign just telling me about the uh, grappling, so... I don't need your sign. I don't need your tutorial. I do need to worry about... amps. <laughs> and there's a one up up there as well, if I were to jump on top of... the fence from above. I won't get zapped if I'm up here, right? I don't think I do, yeah. You're just above the hitbox of the amp when you're on that thing. Alright, over here, baby. There we go. Yeah, there's quite a few coins in the pyramid, and they're all, like, in really obvious positions, so I would be very surprised if you would miss, uh, miss them in the pyramid. Even that blue coin switch was uh, in rather obvious positions. Uh, do I want to get those? Because if I, I think if I get those, the star is going to be on top of the grate. Well, I guess it doesn't matter, because I can get up there from the other side. I just hope this doesn't screw me. Yeah, see that it goes above um, where the coins were, and that's that's kind of the issue with the uh, 100 coin star in Dire Dire Docks, in that if you, have the, uh, if you collect one of the red coins as your last uh, coin, 
you know, that you need to get for the 100 coin star, it will be out of reach. Alright, so long jump. Uh, no, not. <laughs> My fingers are too quick in their timing. There we go. And there's the 100 coin star. Woo! And. Yeah, of course, I would like to save. And with that, I can exit the course safely. And now I can go over to the next floor, because everything in the basement, aside from some Castle Secret stars that I'll be doing later, is completely done. So, yeah, it's, it makes me quite happy. See if you go into the uh, star menu screen to check things. Yep, I can only have five more Castle Secret stars to do. I'll probably um, make a part dedicated just to the Castle Secret stars. Um, in that case, I'm gonna avoid the toads around this area, just because I'll make that part like a castle exploration part as well. So anyway, I'm gonna go in here, which leads to this mirror room here. You can see Lakitu in the mirror there, that's, that's a nice touch that they still show that Lakitu is around, basically, you know, as your cameraman. Okay, there's a toad, I think, that hints that something is different in the mirror than it is not. So if you look around the room, you're gonna find that one thing is indeed different, this snowman painting. So... Yep, there's the next world! This is Snowman's Land, and we start out with Snowman's Big Head. Any introduction? No, there's not. Uh, there's a star over here, which is probably one of the easiest stars to get in the game once you know what to do. Um, but I'm not going to do that until later, I'm just pointing that out now, because you can actually get that anytime you want to. Mm, oh, they're giving me a tutorial on Mr. I again for whatever reason. <laughs> so anyway, what I'm gonna do here is... Oh, gotta look out for the water. The water in this place is like reskinned lava. Not like, uh, not this stuff. This is, this is ice here. Um, but the, the actual water, like the one that's under that chill bully up there, this stuff acts like lava. <laughs> so it's like, it's quite... It's like reskinned lava, is what I'm saying. And uh, I'm just going to go up to the snowman, which is at the highest point, and that's where we're going to get the star. So I'll just follow this path. There's actually quite a few shortcuts that you can do to get up there, but. Stop it! Oh, and this water is very cold, and it will sap the life out of you, even if you are at the surface, so be careful of that as well. No. Dang it! Ah, why is this so finicky sometimes? There we go. <laughs> Gotta time myself better at that. I shouldn't blame the game, actually. <laughs> so, if, if you wanted to shortcut, you could actually triple jump up here skillfully from the very start. But, well, camera. Uh, but otherwise, uh, I'm just showing you around the level this first time around, and then I'm going to uh, take the other routes. Uh, you can also lose your hat here as well, so be careful of this. When you approach a snowman, it'll be like, Hey, who's there? What's climbing on me? Is it an ice ant? A snow flea? Whatever it is, it's bugging me. I think I'll blow it away. And so it does. So it starts blowing, and then you've got this penguin here, and you've actually got to use the penguin to block this, uh, the air from blowing you off the place. And you got to follow the penguin's movements carefully. This is exceptionally difficult to do in the DS version because of how badly the game controls. <laughs> but over here, it's pretty easy to do overall. Just get once you get him to that point, you can safely go past it. And up here on top of the head is oh the star you're looking for. Awesome view. Okie dokie. Next star? Uh, what is it? Oh, it's the Chill Bully. Chill with the Bully. And it literally is called a Chill Bully. It's just like the Big Bully, except it's uh, a reskinned version of it. It's on top of that um, ice arena here. It's, uh, it's gonna be a battle to the doom. Want the first one in the ice loses. Oh, I'm gonna lose! <laughs> Oh, 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 I have a shot, I have a shot, oh, yeah, and that's pretty much it. <laughs> really, it's just, it's that easy, it's that fast. Here we go! 
Mm, I think I'll do one more star in this part because I think it's another ridiculously small one. I mean, a ridic ridiculously short one. Yes, in the deep freeze. I think this is referring to the um, this ice something at the start here. I, I want to say it's an ice sculpture, but if it is, what is it like? Is it supposed to be of a house? Like, I'll go into first person view. What is this? <laughs> well, I don't know, but it's basically a puzzle of sorts. And you, you can go inside this any way that you want to, but you're gonna find that you, you can't get the star anywhere else but from above. So you could either triple jump up there or go, or go through the structure and drop down on the star like that. What is that? <laughs> It's even hanging off the edge, so it's hard to even call it a house, because a house, a house's structure would not hang off the edge like that. <laughs> well, anyway, I should probably stop questioning the sculpture logic and end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next part.